This is a situation where I have to sit there and break it down. This is probably going to be a pretty long video, so I'm skipping an intro. Just subscribe to the channel and we will move on from that. This starts off at Dead Domain. This is an email sent to one of the community managers Grums has decided to target. Someone who had literally no involvement with his weird crusade until they were dragged into it. Now what is he talking about? He's talking about this tweet Grums put up. Another toxic community manager, Dirty Iffin Hippie, formerly of Destiny 2 and current community manager of new Fallout Prime, seems to have a very big problem with white people and we have disparaging things that are showing how they just don't like white people men white men with white knight complexes sat around a table and thought hmm what what's the way to profit off real trauma no they're not that's the problem that we're seeing with all these things it's absolutely disgusting rhetoric that we are seeing uh being pushed it's racist and it should not have a dollar amount to it the message details the names that they have in here is an email that cannot be used. N-word, I, I believe 1984, uh, at gmail.com. If you plug this into Gmail, Grums actually goes over this in his own tweet, um, showing that it cannot be used in for an email. So this email, you know, right off the bat is fake. Is this something that normal people do? No, someone's obviously unhinged and we don't know who. Now, the bigger deal on here is the person that this was sent to is claiming that this was sent to them by a hater, but there is no way to prove that at all. But they're sitting there using this email as a response to say there's a hate harassment campaign going against them and several other people in, in and around game development. This is absolutely false. It is easily proven to be false. People are creating fake harassment and are too stupid to realize Gmail never lets you create names like this. Dead Domain has been spreading lies about me for weeks. And Grums goes on to show, this is serious, there is an account form on her personal website and it's possible to fake an email address there. Do not troll or harass the community manager. This is a troll contact, but she is spreading this as an obvious fake that is allowing her to paint gamers and myself somehow as hateful. Me making this video, I already know where it's going to lie. They're going to say it's creating harassment, but I'm going to go through all of this. It's not creating harassment. It's showing the lie that is being spoken here. Just a normal one, used to messages like this, but a lot of people getting similar one, ones aren't. Thanks for all the love from friends and former co-workers. Appreciate you more than you know. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, the weekend. So they show the email, a very disparaging email, not very nice. People are not nice people. When you get into everything here, this can easily be faked. Someone went along and just made a fake account on her website. If you go to her website, you see this at the bottom of her page on her website, and you can quite simply fill in the form and it, you fill in the form with whatever you want. It can be whatever you want. Interesting that you got an email sent to you using a username that is apparently from gmail.com, yet Gmail policy states you cannot make emails with usernames that are offensive, and this is true. Go into their website, literally just fill out blah, 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 blah. That, that, that's all he did, and went five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten for a uh, phone number. And they just left a thing saying, listen, I'm filling this out just to prove that it's an actual thing. Well, silly beyond belief, instead of her deleting or, or retracting the statements here, she turns around and doubles down. Here it is. Just posting this so others have the same philosophy as him can see if you are if you want or not. He admits to sending me this to be a gotcha only to literally prove what I've been saying. It's nice to meet you, Eat on YouTube. Thank you for your contribution. And literally she posts everything. She posts a screenshot of his. She posts the email or the contact form that he filled out. And she's sitting there going, okay, yeah. So here's the problem. Here's the problem with all of this. Anybody can do this, herself included. That's the problem. 
Nobody knows who put this out there. It could have been her. It could have been some random troll. It could have been some of her friends. It could have been Grums himself that filled this out. Nobody knows who did this, and it's all speculation at this point. So it just creates a, a he said, she said moment. The worst thing out of all of it is this tweet right here. If none of that has been enough, the proof is not something you want. It's very easy for this to be stress-free conversation for me because I have no need to lie. You're literally proving everything for this, um, for public record. Winx, which is the website that all of these sites are using right now. Uh, this is Black Girls Gamers. I'm seeing another one of these with Black Girls Gamers as well. Uh, I've seen this through Baby Ghosts. I've seen this through Sweet Baby Ink. They're all using Winx. Okay, we're gonna play this at the beginning. Okay, so we have that, got that. So what I usually do just to see if the email's right, because I am collecting all of these, by the way. Um, that's fine, collect you away. You really should be doing that because that's, because if you're collecting stuff, you to send to the police this and is do a that campaign so i put okie dokie i knew it was going to bounce back because these all most of them do unless they're sent from nice people now you can see here she highlights it the email bounces back because it's fake because it's not real this doesn't exist it's obviously a troll at this point or in this case it's a test email to see what goes through and the fact that she sits there and actually puts this up there is absolutely ridiculous you can't mess your message wasn't delivered to da 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 because that email address couldn't be found. Ergo, you can put your own email address in there. Okay? Okay. Saturday, April 6th. Here is the email that it route Wix routes to. Okay? What else do you want? Okay. She edited this. This has been edited. I didn't know you could edit video on, on Twitter. I had recorded this uh, because I had a funny feeling she would have deleted it. And this is the actual post that she originally put up there uh, for this situation. Since you guys keep sending me emails to my contact form, which is meant for professional use only, to test out if I'm here, if the contact form is true, because a rant... Okay, first thing first, professional email with a contact list on there. By saying it's professional, this is your website that anybody can go to and anybody can uh, sit there and send you a message. If you have a professional email, it should be on a business card and you should be using that for your professional version. You should actually be using this contact form as a third party email and then shifting things over to your professional email if that is the case, if you want some sort of, uh, some sort of barrier on this type of thing. Some person on the internet told you that he doesn't say it's for sure. He says he assumes. Assumes is not fact. It's not, I'm sorry. We all are assuming right now that this email was either a troll or yourself or someone else in your circle sent it. That's what everyone's assuming right now because there is no way to tell where this came from, who sent this or anything like that. Unless somebody walks up and says, oh yeah, it was me that sent that then there is no way to tell who sent the email. And that is the problem. That is the whole epicenter of it calling it a troll because that's what it is right now. Somebody's trolling somebody at this point. And I'm not gonna fake anything. In this day and age, everything is fact checkable. Why would I- Yeah, welcome to the fact check. I think that, and why is that your first thought? Even when confronted with proof, you're still so sure that who in your- because the proof is very weak and would not hold up in a court of law. Life is lying to you that much to make you doubt everything. Cause like it's not that we believe people are lying to us. It's we are out and we are aware of everything that is going on in, in the situation here. We don't take anything straight up there. I'm not going to take everything you say in this video on face value. I don't take everything that Grum says on face value. This is something that I sat there and I went, okay, let's see where this goes. And now it's bubbled out to this point. Like, that sounds lonely, but because you guys keep saying it's doctored, even with timestamps and everything else. It doesn't show anything of who sent it. Timestamps mean nothing in this situation. Here is me 
showing you my computer because I'm not inviting you psychos into my house. Are you sure about that? Is that the reason why you uh, decided to do this to your computer? Now, I am not going to show this little bit of it. I'm going to try and skip ahead here. Um, mostly because the info that is in this, in this line here that she is showing is reversed. It's just a mirror image because of the way she has the camera, but there is very personal info that is being exposed in this video. So rightfully so I'm glad she took it down or I I'm glad she edited it on Twitter. So here it is. If you scroll down, there's a bunch more of the contact form stuff. I've gotten some really sweet messages too. So thank you for the sweet people. So this, let me walk you through this. Hold on. Actually, hold on. Let me do a part two with it. It's just fitting that way because this is uncomfortable. Okay, we're back. So literally stop it, re-record, and splice it together. Um, so there's a cut there. So this is the email. This is the original email I got. You can put whatever email you want in there. Exactly. That's the point. Any, anything you can put in there. That is what everyone is saying. Anybody can do this. We don't know who is doing this and whoever did this own up to it or just go back and ignore that this ever happened. Here's a whatever phone number. I don't know if that's real or not. Who knows? Please don't try to call it in case it is a real phone number, even though, I mean, obviously that's a lot of numbers. I'm just sending this to prove to you that you likely use your own website to send yourself hateful stuff. I don't Exactly. That's, that's all e Edom TV or YouTube put out there was saying that you likely did this yourself. Now she explains it away by saying, I don't have time to do that. Well, why are you making this video in the first place? Why are you taking the time to even acknowledge that this is a thing? If you don't have time to deal with that, why even bother continuing the lie? I don't have time to send myself hateful stuff. I volunteer on the weekends. I am working multiple contracts. I do not have the time you guys seem to think I have, but I... You have time right now to make this video. I'm a little flattered that you think I do, because that means I come off way more chill than I am. Oh, sorry. Notice how it kind of cut there and then cut really back. I believe this is set up to be like a trap and then puts up that screenshot that is very clear of her email box. Do not, do not do anything with that. Um, I'm glad she's scrubbing it from the internet. It's going to be blurred for a good reason, because quite frankly, I don't want to see anybody go after that. And I won't be holding on to this. This is something that I'm just putting up there on the internet. It's absolutely imperative that people ignore this completely. I'm going to go up. Okay. So we have that, got that. So what I usually do just to see if the email's right, because I am collecting all of these, by the way, um, you guys are really hurting the guy you're following because you're proving this is a harassment campaign. And once again, no, this is not a harassment campaign. This is a bunch of gamers coming together and saying, listen, we don't like what is going on in the, in the industry. We don't like the games that are being pushed out. We don't like the message that is being pushed out because the message is fake. Everything about this industry right now is fake. The design changes, the narrative changes, everything ha is being pushed upon us and it's all fake. They're putting a dollar amount to the color of your skin. They're putting a dollar amount to what's between your legs. It's absolutely and utterly disgusting and gross. And it needs to stop. People want games with inviting stories, stories that make us feel inspired. I, when I play a game and say the game is about King Arthur, I want to play a game that's about King Arthur. So I put okie dokie. I knew it was going to bounce back because these all, most of them do, unless they're sent from nice people. You can't mess, your message wasn't delivered to dinner. Yada, yada, yada. We went over this. So I'm just going to point out here two, I, we're two minutes and 45 seconds. Her actual the actual one is now edited down to 45 seconds. So she cut out two minutes of this. What do we do with all this information? Uh, I've put it up there in what I can just surmise as a simple blurred out version of it. Email or the contact that Lina, Lena Rupert got here could be anybody, even herself. And that is what everyone is trying to elude here at this point. Not saying it is her, not saying it's uh, anybody else, but whoever sent that, it, it, it's disgusting 
and should be denounced and should be torn apart. But we've seen this in the past where people will do these types of false flags. And that is what is going off of right now. That's where everyone is saying it's, it's not right. These things are not right in the first place. The community managers that sit there and, and hate on people because they happen to be white don't understand that a lot of those people that happen to be white also have a history of a heritage that might possibly not be white. Grums himself, I believe, is Taiwanese. I'm very mixed. I'm Canadian, but I am a mixing melting pot of everything Canadian. And just because the skin color that I happen to have doesn't make me any different than anybody else out there. It's absolutely disgusting. It's disgraceful. It's discriminatory. And it needs to stop. This is why the DEI in video games is absolutely disparaging everyone that wants to play games and why it needs to stop, why these companies need to wake up to this and stop putting a price tag on the color of people's skin. Anyway, I'm your prod Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day and don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>